Hey guys, this is Nathan O'Kane. I'm here in Tennessee on vacation. Got something really exciting for you guys. We're going to do an unboxing of Google Glass, and we're currently in Otto Presky's Artisan Wood Shop in Tennessee. I'm on vacation, so we just pulled over to the road. Going to do this unboxing real quick. I'm going to get into the review and all the details in a later video, but I'm really excited to open this box up and start using it so I can give you guys my impressions. And uh, so that's it. So let's uh, open this box up. I have no idea what's going to be inside. Usually I use a knife, but I've got my key here today to help me open it. Not going to need it for that part. All right, there it is, glass. Now this is the Explorer version 2 edition. We've got the uh, active shades come with it. So, um, let's see. Go ahead and get rid of that. Let's open these, uh, these shades up first. Now the version 2 is supposed to be able to fit prescription lenses um, as opposed to the version 1 glass. So uh, they include these and I believe they are some sort of designer brand. Boy, a lot harder without a knife. Alright. Nothing else in that box. Break the seal here. All right, welcome Glass Explorer. We are thrilled to have you here, and thank you to, for we thank you to thank you for including this in a special pair of glass shades. Glass rocks the outdoors to help you make the most out of it. We partnered with Maui Gym and Zeal Optics to design the unique color-enhancing impact-resistant lens that delivers extraordinary optical quality. It is made of, in Japan from eco-friendly materials and is a gift to all our explorers. So go on, take it outside. Manufactured in Google. Mountain View, California. All right, so this is how you put them on. You slide the shades up, twist them in, and there you go. You've got nice glass embossing right here and a nice microfiber case. So there are the shades themselves. Say glass on the inside and uh, no XE on the outside, but pretty thick. They're flexible, but they seem very sturdy and uh, pretty dark actually. So we'll just put that over to the side in a second. So I think actually we open it like this. All right, let's get started. Turn on the device by pressing the power button. Adjust the nose piece. Display should sit just above your field of vision. Position the display to see the whole screen clearly. Really nice box. And there it is. As you can see, I went for the charcoal version, which is the closest you can get to black. Uh, we've got listen here with the bone conduction speaker, on off button, the touchpad on this side, a capture button that also is a video mode, and the glass prism itself. So I'm going to just go ahead and pick them up. And uh, actually, I'm going to put them right here. We'll see if there's anything else in the box. Ah, okay. So we've also got a microfiber case and an earbud. So this is new for the version 2. Enhance your audio experience with the mono earbud engineered specifically for glass. So um, go ahead and pull that out somehow. Now this will use the same micro USB used to charge the device and um, this slips in and out to accommodate different ear sizes. And you don't have to use this, the bone conduction is still there, but you can use this to uh, take calls and hear a little better. So I'll of course be giving you my review on, on how loud this is, if it's clear, if you can hear anything out of this ear or if it blocks you out from the world. This is turnable slightly, oh it's removable, so perhaps you can buy different colors in the future. Another microfiber case. It's got a hard front to protect the prism with uh, more glass embossing. And of course your power brick. This is kind of interesting. You've got white and black, so uh, 
you know which side to plug it into. So you can't get it wrong. So if you get this one wrong, well, the lights are probably out. All right, what else we got in here? This is, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so these are um, different nose bridge pieces. I guess uh, Total Comfort right on the nose. They probably have the medium ones installed right now. These are small and these are large. So I assume if you got a big proboscis, you can use the large nose things. You're a pioneer, founder, and architect. Which possible, you're a glass explorer. We have an exciting journey ahead of us and see. And what happens next starts with you exploring google.com forward slash glass. So this is a list of uh, questions. We got answers. Is glass indestructible? No. All right, we'll go over all that later. So for now, I'm just going to put these on and not really adjust it, but sort of give you my first impression. I'm getting a crazy look from my camera lady. And um, I mean, right now it seems pretty see-through. It's definitely not in my vision. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So that's it for the unboxing. I'll get into a review about it later after I get it all set up. And uh, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and I will go through all of the features and my whole experience through glass. Anyway, thanks.